Number 1 just to give a little backstory, I work at a gas station not far from my home and I've been working there for a good few years, almost four, and man, I gotta tell you, I've seen a lot of creepy characters out there. I'm on the night shift, which is from 4pm till midnight. Normally the evening rush has me getting worked up or frustrated because I get some very cranky, stupid or disrespectful customers, but I'd always get the cool ones who share my interest and bum me some weed in exchange for a small coffee or soda. Anyways, it was around 11pm and my shift was almost over, and around that hour, since it was a bar not that far down the way, I was getting all the stupid idiots coming back from the bar picking up either gas or more beer. One man I noticed was in a black SUV on the furthest side of the parking lot. I tried to ignore it because I thought maybe it was someone just relaxing or waiting for someone. We do get a few drug dealers who come by and do business in that lot seeing that the cameras don't show it. I went outside for a smoke and wait for my coworkers to show up. I looked over at the SUV and saw a weird guy just staring at me with his mouth open. He was dressed like a bum. Since I thought maybe it was another homeless guy living out of his car who wants cash in the parking lot. Now, I may look small and weak, but I grew up with brothers who taught me to fight, throw knives and shoot guns. I didn't want to be 100% rude seeing that I was still at work and I wanted to be friendly. I waved, but he did nothing, just kept staring at me with wide dead eyes and his mouth was wide open. I began to shout over to him, seeing if he was okay, nothing, didn't move. I began to get pissy, so I walked over a little closer and shouted, Yo, you can't litter here, sir. You gonna make a purchase anytime soon. I just put my cigarette out and began stopping over to his vehicle. As I came closer to the vehicle, I saw in his hand on the bottom of the steering wheel a pistol of some sorts. I took a quick glance and I backed up immediately and ran back into the store, locking it and hiding behind the register counter. I took my phone out of my pocket and dialed 911. While on the phone to them, I looked over the counter to see if he was still there and I was told to identify the SUV. I took a quick peek and oh my god, what I saw still makes me shiver. It was the man pressed up against the door, banging on it telling me to open up. At this point, I quickly go back under the counter and cry for the operator to hurry up. Luckily for me, I heard a loud bark from a huge dog and I instantly thought, oh thank god, it's my co-worker. He always walks to work with his pit bull, who's pretty mean looking but it's the sweetest. I could hear my coworker yelling at the man to clear. I rushed to open the door and hugged my coworker, thanking him, and of course gave a big kiss to his dog. I still get nightmares of the man's face and what maybe he would have done if he'd gotten to me. So the creepy man in the parking lot. Let's never meet again. Number two. Okay, so my parents left for downtown Phoenix for a special meeting they had. I live in Flagstaff, Arizona, so it was a really long ride, about two hours long. I was left home alone because my brother and his girlfriend went to go eat somewhere. I was a wuss, so I had turned off all of my lights in the house and I locked myself in the room and had my German Shepherd with me. I was on the sky with my friend and playing my Xbox One. Two hours passed and it was already 10pm. I told my friend that I had to go and that I'll talk to him tomorrow, then shut down my Xbox and my PC. And I went to sleep with my German Shepherd right next to me. Half an hour later, my German Shepherd jumped out of my bed and its ears went open. I saw him shivering. I heard my front door open and at first I thought it was my mom and dad but usually they go through my garage. After I assumed it with my brother and his girlfriend, I opened my door and saw that the front door was closed and all I saw was pure darkness. My German Shepherd then ran into the kitchen and barked. I was so scared and my German Shepherd kept on barking. I called my friend on Skype and he picked up. I told him that someone had broken into my house and I don't know who it was. He told me to calm down and to call the police. At that moment I noticed my dog had stopped barking. I told my friend to hang on while I slowly went into the kitchen to check it out. My dog was still there but standing still and not moving. I heard my front door open at that moment and I saw a man run out and drive away. I quickly locked the door, turned on all the lights in my house and ran to my PC to tell my friend what just happened. But what he said will haunt me for the rest of my life. Me, oh my god dude, this bitch just left. I swear oh my god I'm shaking right now. Him. Dude. Me, yeah? Him. Who was that tall dark dude that entered your room, looked at me and took a photo off your wall and left? Me, oh my god, I have to go, bye. So then I looked behind me and my picture was in fact gone. I called my brother to come and 15 minutes later he arrived and I told him and my girlfriend all about what happened and they promised to always stay with me whenever my mom and dad were gone, that they won't tell my mom or dad. I'm never really home alone now but my brother is always next to me whenever I am. 
So, to that bitch who broke into my house and stole a photo from me, for some reason, let's not meet again. I'm 11 by the way. Number 3. So, a couple of weeks ago, I was cuddling in my room with my boyfriend. We were just chilling, you know, watching some YouTube videos and such. This really isn't out of the ordinary considering we do this all the time. However, this particular night, I decided to have my window open. I normally never have my window open or leave the blinds wide open in fear of seeing the face of some guy in my backyard. Partially due to reading a lot of Let's Not Meet, but I decided that it was time to get over my fear and that there was no way that there could be someone out there in my backyard or behind my window. So we were just chilling when all of a sudden my mom comes in and immediately she's like, you need to close your window and blinds right now and she looks hella panicked and she's hushing her voice like someone would hear her. So I was like, what do you mean? No pun intended, of course. Is there someone out there? And she gives me this look that literally brings chills down my spine and I start to freak out. So my boyfriend goes to close the window and blinds. I asked my mom what was going on. This is what she told me. I was letting in her friend to pee and I opened the door from my garage that leads out to the side gate to find some guy crouched behind a trash can and he just stood up and walked out of our side gate that moment I opened the door. So let me tell you why this freaks me out. My side gate is connected to our backyard, there's nothing that separates the two and my window is open directly towards my backyard. So there was a guy crouched behind our trash cans near my window the entire time my boyfriend and I had the window open. He literally could have came in at any moment or, or could have been watching us for who knows how long. We do not know who it was or why they were there or how often they come here, so man hiding behind my trash cans, let's not meet. Hey, what's going on guys? Thank you so much for watching the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed these three stories. If they're from Reddit's um, subreddit, let's not meet again. So um, make sure to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy these stories. I'll definitely be doing so many more. I really can't wait. Can we hit seven likes in the video? If you can, that would be unbelievable. Um, we're coming too close to 2K. It's unbelievable. I can't really thank you guys enough. So if you enjoy these um, kind of scary story videos, then definitely smack a like and I'll definitely be sure to do more. If you want me to do more than three, I will. It's just I don't like doing super long stories because I don't feel people are gonna sit there and listen to a whole um, whole story because it's just a bit too long um, so if you do want to hear longer stories and longer videos then let me know in the comment section below but until then guys check under your bed and make sure your doors are locked and I'll see you guys in the next one